Hey guys, how are you? Anyway, uh, I'm gonna show you today how to hack a XP machine using Backtrack. I have a setup in VirtualBox. These two are in LAN, uh, a Backtrack and a Windows XP Service Pack 1. Um, yes, yeah, so, and I, I will use Metasploit frame Framework to exploit the vulnerabilities of XP. There is a vulnerability DCOM found in normally as uh, XP service pack 0, service pack 1, maybe in service pack 2, I'm not sure, anyway. So let's fire up MSF, I will type command MSF console, console, uh, this is the command for MSF, CLI, it will take some time to start in anyway. There are many other vulnerabilities. You just search Google and you will find many vulnerabilities. This will give you an idea of how MSF works. Okay, here is my console. Uh, so, as I said, we'll use DCOM. So, let's search for DCOM. Yes. It will take some time also. Yeah. So there are three vulnerabilities, three exploits. This one, this one, and this one. And uh, check the rank. It says great, low, good. So I will use the great one. Okay. Uh, I copied. Then I'll use it. I use. I will use use command use use then I'll paste the uh, path or full path exploit windows dcf slash something something okay so currently I'm using dcom vulnerability so I'll do a quick show option to uh, to see which options I need to set so mm, you can see our port is already there our host is blank and it is required. Yes, so I need to set our host. Um, uh, I will use set our host and the IP of my XP machine is 192.168.1.1. Okay, uh, now. Yes, now show options. Ah, my mistake. Yeah, the R of street set. Let me tell you, uh, these two machines are in LAN. Okay? It's IP, my backtrack machine's IP is 192.168.1.2. And XP's IP is 192.168.1.1. Okay. Anyway, you can refer my previous tutorials to see how you can make those two machines in LAN. Anyway, so anyway, my module is set. I mean, my exploit is DCOM, and I have configured it. Now I will use any payload. So I will again use set command set. payload windows slash uh, I press tab button two times so here is all here is all type of payloads you can set according to you lots of payloads uh, okay I'm gonna use uh, let's say where is it shell shell bind tcp yeah windows windows shell bind tcp it's my favorite in there so i will set the load windows shell bind tcp okay quick show options 
this is my payload options this is my module options ROS and everything is set so we are good to go let's try it exploit yeah after you are done you are you have to type exploit command to exploit it quite easy oh so here i am i got the command prompt in uh, my xp machine it is c windows system 32 so uh, let's navigate c you can do tons of things in this once you get uh, you get a command prompt you can uh, list files by dir here is my dir i will try to navigate i will try to change my directory to documents and settings so cd docs stars document settings again dir so here is two users metasploit and administrator okay so both are administrator definitely i use meta i created metasploit some day ago by using the, the using the payload at user anyway administrator metasploit so let's navigate to metasploit cd metasploit okay now dir i have desktop desktop cd desktop okay okay now i will try a dir command and it says uh, it has a run shortcut to network connections let's see run shortcut to network connection fine and it says two files two directories uh, it will be in that desktop okay so uh, let's try making something uh, making a desktop i'm uh, making a folder my mistake md this is the command i guess in xp window systems to make a folder md something hacked let's see hacked okay um i can navigate to hack again md something some hack some okay so you can do lots and lots of stuff all you have to know is how command prompt of a windows machine works you can do a net stat net stat minus n or you can ping someone ping anything okay so so it was easy so i will post more videos on metas metas plots very soon so stay tuned like and subscribe thank you very much